Hi, this is the continuation of the mushroom tutorial. Here we are going to texture it. Before start. Modify your mushroom as you like. I'm going to edit the stalk. Move the cap, and don't forget to move the gills with its empty. After you finish to modify all. You can convert to mesh, by hitting F3 and searching. Convert to. Mesh from. The same to the all the parts. Now you can delete the empties if you want. For a little realistic effect I'm going to add a displace modifier to the cap like this. Cloud and play with the size and depth. And put a lower strength. In edit mode. Edit the gills with proportional editing like this. You can add a subdivision surface modifier to the gills. Next step. Texturing. I'm going to start with the stalk. Create a new material. I prefer a metallic material for this. Something iridescent. Add a texture coordinate and connect refraction into the base color. Add color ramp. In color ramp choose HSL and FAR. Pick the colors you like. Add a mix RGB. Add a color ramp and a fresnel or a layer weight. It depends which you like the most, but I choose the layer weight. Connect everything like I do. Play with the color ramp like you want. If any shortcuts don't appear in your blender like me, don't forget to activate no drangler in the add and preferences. Play with metallic and roughness. I add a bump node with a noise texture with a high value in the scale. Set the bump strength lower. In the cap. I add particles to this. First in edit mode select some faces, like this. Create a vertex group with all your selection. Assign. Create a particle system in the cap. Hair. Render as object. Create a icosphere and select it as your particle object. In vertex groups. Density. Select the previous vertex group you create. Play with number, scale, and scale randomness. For the gills texture I only use a principled BSDF and increase the subsurface at all. Then I play with the roughness. I use the subsurface for an organic result. For the cap texture I use a principled BSDF2 with a subsurface in one. Add a color ramp. Add a mix RGB. Add a gradient texture and a noise texture.
And don't forget the mapping node with the texture coordinate. Connect everything like I do. In color ramp choose constant and play with it. Duplicate the principal BSDF and mix them with a mix shader. Color ramp into the factor. Organize your nodes and pick the colors you want. Duplicate the principal BSDF and mix them with a mix shader. Add a color ramp and a Voronoi texture. Connect and play with the color ramp like I do. It is necessary to choose constant in color ramp and add a new point. Pick the colors you want and move it with mapping node. Organize your nodes. Mix two principal BSDF nodes. Duplicate the first gradient group node we made. Adding a point in the color ramp play with it and with the X location in the mapping node. I make like a ring with this. Once again duplicate this principal BSDF node and mix them. Duplicate the gradient group and now I wanted to make like a more blurry gradient. Don't forget that you have to texture the icosphere to affect the particles. For the particles I use the same material that I used in the stalk. I make more modifications for the final result. Remember you have to experiment with other textures and make something better than this. Posibilities are endless. Remember you can follow me on Instagram and tag me in your posts. If you like this kind of tutorials let me know in the comment section. I hope I've helped you with this. Bye.